having that happen to you, even if your opponent is nice enough uh, to, like, gentlemen a reset, yeah. it still really messes with you. Having a controller malfunction just to kill all of your momentum. Ooh, he just powered through that. I like that. That's a, that's a nice start there. And it looks like uh, Shadow's a little more confident, but of course Ray's going to try to get him off stage. He wants to, he wants to get the, the repeat of what happened the first uh, try of the first game. Ah, uh, well, 11 seconds are gone. The stock's still here, so yeah. already an improvement over broken controller Shadow. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's the good stuff. Oh gosh. Oh he has gosh. No jump. Okay. I. Okay. He does make it back though. As a little Mac, congratulations, you just won. <laughs> you won that little battle, but you of course K KO Punch about to go live. So let's see how Shadow to yeah. that's his advantage. Not only is KO Punch about to go live, but um. Oh, so there's an interesting thing that some little Macs do where when they're about to get. Oh, why? What happened? He, I think he might have been reading like oh. side B in. I got gotcha. you. Or maybe he thought that he could charge KO punch accidentally. Oh no. Yeah, it, maybe he was trying to. It was like a hard read. It didn't pay off. Lost the yeah. KO. So now he's uh, back to square one. Well, square one is actually not that bad. 76% on Bayonetta. That's mm -hmm. as a little Mac. That's. Nothing to scoff at. That's 89% already. Oh my goodness, a bar smash, and he got the stock. Did and you see him? He jumped on the platform yeah. to get that. Yes. Now, uh, here's the other thing, too. Let him know the shadows. Uh, well, as of just until just now, he's been maintaining center stage. He does not want to give you Tilting Ray because he saw what Ray could do. And uh, it, it, he, he saw he could just get give him off stage. He's trying to maintain center stage as much as possible. Yeah, because if he gets, oh, look at that. If he gets hit at center stage, he's not off stage. Yeah. Yeah, see, again, right to center. Okay, there's going to be the back air. No way he's going to be surviving it. But now we have an interesting situation for Shadow, where he does have a lead right now. And that means that if he wants to sit there and do nothing, force Ray to approach, he has that chance. Okay, but don't do it Ooh, at the ledge. Oh don't no, do it on oh the no. ledge. Oh. oh my goodness. So close. You get a little, you get a little worried only because like, you, we all know Bayo has a way better recovery than, than uh, Little Mac. Oh, yes. <laughs> So it's just it's just a little nerve-wracking because you don't being know a little bit controversial there, bud. <laughs> Uppy. Yeah, the, the 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 hot the hot facts that no one wants to accept. So right now, uh, shadows may be able to try to get this uh, this uh, KO punch. He might be saying it even it, and he might. Oh my goodness! I love that side B. Just get out of there. Return to the center stage. And Ray's not stupid. He's not going down. He's waiting for him. You got to come up to me. Yo, <laughs> okay. Aerial KO punch. It might not be worth much, but yeah, it'll, exactly. definitely, it'll definitely mess with them. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's not going to KO, of course, but that's what he wants. Oh, he oh, he had the idea, didn't pay off, and let's see if he's going to recover. No. No, you're he right. Hits him. <laughs> you get like, one last hit before you go out. Might as well go out uh, with guns blazing, right? And that's actually another thing, uh, speaking of guns blazing, Bullet Arts are actually a huge problem for Little Mac when he's recovering mm -hmm. because she'll throw out a hitbox at this certain range and he cannot side. He's like basically forced to play around and he has to air dodge through it in order to make it back. And if he's already like expending all of his resources in order to make it back, those Bullet Arts can sometimes, that's all you need to do in order to shut him down. All right, so now, game two, Town of City. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, okay, nice follow up to the bats. Normally, when I see somebody counter pick a bayonet in town and city, I'm like, why? But um, raise bayonet, it's not really so much focused on the ladders. Mm -hmm. As you can see, he only did like what one or two. Yeah, and even then, like they didn't close out the stock. They exactly. did tons of damage, and they were certainly effective. But they weren't the death sentence that a player like Mistake or a hardcore Bayo main would be able to do. Now, this is a big difference in percentage to start this game. Of Shadow's looking really good right now. Don't make me eat my words. Okay. <laughs> Right? Ray, oh my goodness. Oh, that might be, no, he's able to get back on stage. Oh my goodness, Ray all over him in the air, but now he got the KO punch live. Can he follow? Oh. No, instead he goes with the, oh, and he got it. He got the talk. Again, that's the same thing we saw against Projo. He's not burning oh. his pocket. <laughs> that's and the exact same thing we saw against Projo. <laughs> you get hit and you lose the KO punch. You take the stock, but you lose KO punch. So. Yeah, 93% though. I mean, all Shadow's got to do is, um, you know, to hold on to the stock as long as possible. And Ray's not trying to hear that at all. He's that's, like, nah, man. That's the third hide recovery he's done. Mm -hmm. He's doing him in a row, and that time Utopian Ray was ready for it. And even though he went for an up instead of a side B, if anything, that just meant that uh, Utopian Ray had even more time. Zero percent, 
on stock and key. So not zero exactly, but essentially zero. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he's been doing an all game. It's been working to its advantage so far. And that Ray's like, nah, man, I'm going to do this ladder real quick. Get Die. some damage on you. Although Ray isn't, you know, it's not his specialty to be able to ladder people into the blast zone. Every time he gets a hit, I still have to inhale, suck in my breath because it's not necessarily off the top that's, that's dangerous. I put on the ledge is like an off stage with these forward air strings. I I'm loving right now how oh, Shadows looks like such a boxer and his movement with Little Mac and how he's dodging, moving, dodging, moving, getting his hits, dodging, moving. He's looking like a real life boxer. Bob and Weave. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness, KO Punk about to go live. Is Kyori going to kick the stock or are we going to see it? Oh, Ray's ready for it. He's like, nah, you're not going to catch me with it. Oh, he got some forward smash instead. Ooh, just, I, he must have his resources to get back. He does. Um, of course he does. But KO Punch is still a factor, and that means that Ray's going to be up there. Oh no, but it's even with it. He's, He's not. getting hit. 112% right now. Oh, no, that's it. Oh no, so close. What the heck? And he's still not using KO Punch. He's like, now nah, you're expecting me to use KO Punch. I don't need KO Punch to kill you, dude. I'm going to get this stock some other way. We actually haven't seen Shadow get a single KO Punch. He doesn't need, need it. it. Not at all. And now that's how he gets game two. So now we got a game three situation. How, how is it going to go down? Where are we going? How is this going to happen? I feel like we might see the character switch. Utopian Ray, he's been messing with the Bayo, and the Bayo has been working but not working well enough. And his Rosa, even though Rosa versus Mac is... Uh, yeah, yeah, even though yep. Rosa versus Mac is not as good as Bayo versus Mac, his Rosa is his character. He now, knows how to play it. He knows he is a master of this girl and star. So now, let's see what happens. We got the different type of triplats. This is where Ray won the first time. Well, you know, battle for but... So, and again, uh, the center stage, but that's the thing. I guess this is why uh, this, this stage, I mean, this was um, uh, Ray's choice, and I'm guessing just because, hey, you want to stay center stage? Well, there's Wispy. So, haha, <laughs> you can't stay center stage for that long. That's actually a very good point, Rick. It may be situational, but those edge cases might be what's necessary in order for uh, Shadow to lose advantage. And when you, like, lose advantage when you're now being off stage or trapped on the ledge by Utopian Ray being juggled, that's where it becomes so scary, so hard to deal with. Look at this, this might even be it now. Let him get back to ledge, but it lets him get back to stage. Never mind. And recovers high, too. Oh. Oh my goodness! Oh no! And at 44% too, I mean, this is a lot tougher too, because it's not Bayonetta at all, it's Rosa. So you have to not only deal with Luma, and you have to deal with Wispy. It's like, it's just all these factors against Shadow right now. He has to fight against all the elements. Look at this patience from Ray. This is more what I know him. He's, he's amazing at the micro spacing. A staying patient about being in your zone, but you can't get him out. It's like he threatens you, but you feel like you can't touch him at all. Oh man! Oh my goodness! Ooh. <laughs> That's how oh no! Do it! Oh! no! No! Float like a butterfly into the blast zone. Oh no! Shoutouts to both players, but Ray moving on into winner's finals of the pool. I thought that was what's going to kill him, and instead the side V, and oh, man. Yeah, and that was him. just like, oh. Shadows is like, ah, well.